Okay, so this is what I've done to the TV cabinet. I've put some uh, cheap LED lighting in it. I've pretty much wired it up, so um, I've got master switches here, and the cabinets are on these little micro switches, so when the doors close, the lights inside will, will go on and off. And I've got some blue strip LEDs along the bit where the uh, audio equipment will go, and the one on the end, there's a cabinet as well. So this is the roof of the cabinet upside down at the moment. You won't see any of this wiring. Um, so pretty much I've got it set up here. Obviously it's upside down because it's the roof, but it'll look like that. You can turn the display on, which is the blue, on and off. I'll put a, I'll see how bright it is, but I'm gonna put a dimmer in it when I get around to it. I might just take apart an old uh, computer fans, fan controller, see how that goes. And you can turn the cabinets on separately as well. So you can have either either. And of course the cabinets are on these little micro switches. So when the door's closed, they'll be off. And when you open the door, it'll go on. Same on this end here. Um, yeah, I think it came pretty good. I'm going to put the cabinet back together now, obviously, with the... 64 inch Samsung on top and that's the cabinet Let's See how it looks um, All up I think it cost me probably 30 probably 30 bucks for all the wiring and the The LEDs I got for about I think they're five dollars for the strips on eBay. They come in one meter strips and you can cut them You can cut them to length Let's See how it comes up well, here's the cabinet all back together, as you can see. Uh, it's uh, cost me about 160 bucks, I think, from where certain sound they were thrown out the door before they went bust. Uh, TV is a 64 inch Series 8 Samsung. And now I'll show you the lights. So, in the right hand cupboard, uh, this is, I've got, cut the back out of it there so you can see it flush up against the wall and the power sockets and all that don't impede on it so there's not a big inch gap from the back uh, in here I've yeah this one never gets used it's got like three glasses in it that's about it but yeah underneath there there's your switch so you can flip the cabinet ones on and you can flick the blue LEDs on it's not really Attractive up the top there, but from where you sit because it's such a low-lying cabinet you can never see all that ever uh, anyway, and they're on the uh, The micro switches So when you close the cabinet it goes off like a fridge And same on this side Where the blue rays are It's pretty cool I'm pretty happy with how it came out not bad for 30 bucks or something uh, and you can see the LEDs are up on along the top edge there I was going to put them up the back but uh, you can sort of see the the individual SMDs in the strip rather than just the big cool blue glow so that's it uh, like I said I think the the strips were about five bucks each or something for a meter long from China. I don't know how long they'll last, but I can always buy some more. Um, I got this little the one that says LED lighting is a 12 volt adapter that was I think seven dollars on eBay, and it came with the the plug to connect it up to that. The switches I got from JCar for. Two dollars each, and the cabinet, the little box thing was like two bucks each as well. And all the wiring cost me about ten bucks. That's about it. I think it came out really good considering some of the ones you see with lighting at fucking JB Hi-Fi cost you about nine hundred dollars. I rate it. Just have to put the Xbox down there and it'll be good to go.